Faith Evans, breaking news, says she's a goofball. I Define. Know. What do you mean? Well, okay, let me just put it like this. Most of my friends call me Lucy. That is a compliment of the highest order. Well, yeah, I love her. Yeah. But, you know, she was sort of a goofball. Beautiful course, That's one. why we love her, right? <laughs> to be beautiful like you are and fun. And then that takes a lot of uh, self-confidence, right? Well, I guess. I mean, I think I do have a, quite a bit of self-confidence, but not arrogance. I find confidence to be such an interesting topic because most people, I think, are really lacking, and yet we read self-help books, we go to therapy, but if you feel too confident, then now you're conceited. So it's like this delicate balance, like you just let out. I don't know. I think if you are, I don't think there's a such thing as too confident, but uh, sometimes people tend to express it outwardly a little too much. I think it's better to, for you to let other people compliment you. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. But it's okay to still know within yourself, like, you know, I think I'm kind of hot, but, you know. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. So the top three things on your I'm kind of hot resume are what? I'm very funny. Yeah. Um, I'm very caring. And I love God and my family and my children and my friends and... So, King and I. The King and I is my new album, a duets album with the late, great Notorious B.I.G. with some very, very great features on it. I, I sequenced the album to kind of tell, uh, loosely tell the story of our relationship. I'm sure there are a lot of people trying to tell your story. And this is this you telling your story? Well, yeah, this is me telling my story. I, I'm very proud of the body of work I've created of, you know, and my approach that I use in extending his legacy, which is, uh, I, it's my duty, you know. Really, partly. you feel that? It is, partly not, you know, because I am co-administrator of his estate. Um, mm -hmm. I am the mother of his son, one of his children. Yeah. So in many ways, it is my duty. In the recording studio, what was your favorite moment? The whole process, 25 songs, big album. I have to say my favorite moment was when I was almost done recording and I had a little, emotional moment feeling like I got a tap on the shoulder with a little nod of, I'm proud of you, you're doing the right thing, you know, and I just kind of broke down crying in the studio and nobody really knew why. <laughs> oh, you, you got a big up from the bus. <laughs> wow, that, that's amazing. And do you now feel like a chapter in your life is closed and you're... It's a huge part of my life and it's always gonna be, to be quite honest. So. It's a, a never ending story. Mm -hmm. There you it. have it. Never ending story. I like story. that big up from above, that was cool. Big up from above. I gotta use that. So, Big up from above. Big up.